Hey guys, KZ Guy 2, no nonsense know how. Today I want to talk about this fuel lift pump out of a 98 Dodge Ram with a 12 valve engine. Uh, this is a Carter made in USA pump, the original pump that these trucks were equipped with for the uh, Cummins 6BT motor. Anyway, I want to talk about it real quick and then I'll break it down show you guys all the parts. So, mounts on the engine like this. Uh, one key thing here, if, when you're removing it, this plunger that rides, this is the plunger that rides on a cam inside of the engine. When you're taking this thing out, this make sure this doesn't slide out and fall on the bottom of the engine when you're taking it out. Okay, now how does this thing operate? Essentially, like I just said, the cam plunges this inside and out. In doing so, creates a vacuum on this side. This is your inlet, got a little screen in there, and then your high pressure outlet right here. Now, if you happen to run out of fuel or you get air in your fuel lines and you have to reprime it, instead of cranking the engine a bunch, they give you this manual primp priming bulb here. So you just, you know, if I cap this uh, intake off here and you can hear that going, and that should create a vacuum. Yeah, not too much, but anyway. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and break this thing down. This is just a rubber protective boot right here. Okay, simple enough. And then there's your plastic plunger right there. So I already got this loose. I didn't take this thing apart yet either. I just loosened these. So. Popping that out. You got this sleeve here. A uh, tapered spring so they can't go in the wrong way. And then otherwise you got a rubber seal in there. And um, looks like a double lip seal in there. And then goes right to the high pressure side of your pump over there. Okay. This is your plunger right here. Looks like one or two O-rings uh, all the way down the body. Seal this from getting any motor oil or oil pressure or you know diesel fuel into the engine. Okay. Now this is our inlet. So we got that screen there, a little bit of debris on there. Let's pop this off. Try to keep this video quick for you guys. There's a screen and a retainer for the screen in there. Simple enough. The gasket is uh, still on the body, but right here it has a like a you know fiber gasket. And then you got your spring. Doesn't look like it has a taper or anything like that. Pretty heavy duty spring. And so inside of here you should have looks like the plunger in there. So let's take this pin. I don't even need to it's actually fall right out of there. So in here. Looks like a steel steel plunger right up against the aluminum uh, body right here. And this is going to be where you get your pumping action. So when this pin is getting pushed back and forth by the engine just like that, this is a uh, one-way valve in here. And so essentially it's allowing, you know, fuel to pass one way, pressurize it, push it back up, um, you know, the port right here that goes up to the high pressure up here so looks like that actually has a one-way valve in it too so let's think about it like this there's a, a rubber flap in here and when this here the cam pushes it that way well it's pushing it up the the intake side of here which is full of fuel and so it's allowing fuel to pass that rubber flap and then the rubber flap closes and then when the cam goes back down the spring pressure here forces this so this is really what's creating your, your fuel pressure, this, this heavy-duty spring right here. Pushes it this way and forces fuel out your, your outlet. All right, and I was wrong. There's not actually an O-ring that seals diesel fuel from getting inside your crankcase. It's a, a, a lip, looks like a double lip seal. It actually has a spring on it, too, on the back there. So that's definitely one of the failures that, that could happen. If that seal failed, you know, you'd be pouring diesel fuel inside of your... Uh, crankcase so and if this seal failed on the bottom here then you'd be leaking um, diesel fuel on the ground essentially so let's pop this top piece off here so this is your high pressure outlet and uh, there you go there's the outlet there for that and again one-way valve so fuel can push past this this rubber flap in here um, maybe nitrile, I don't know what that's actually made out of, but fuel can push past that. And essentially it's a check valve, Go towards goes to the uh, injection pump, won't allow it back into the uh, fuel pump. So 
you know, that's definitely one of the other things that could fail here. This, this one could fail, and, and this could fail, and both are going to give you, you know, definitely fuel pressure issues. Now, so like I said, this is where the fuel comes out in the top up here at that little hole. But if for some reason there's a blockage in the system, there's another hole on the high pressure side in the back on the, on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. And that goes, I'm gonna take, not going to take it apart now, but that goes down here and over this way to your high pressure relief. And essentially what that's going to do, if you drill, you know, took this plug out here, um, there'll be an overing seal and a, a spring in there, which you can adjust the, the blow-off pressure from that. You know, it's a safety valve, essentially. Any residual pressure, if, if you kinked off, you know, the return line or something like that, the uh, fuel is going to go back into this hole right up here. It's a little ball, ball, a spring, and, uh, and that plug. So otherwise, super simple pump, you know, um, tried and true design, obviously. Definitely some some failure failure prone items in it. Uh, however, I think that they are pretty tried and true. So uh, yeah, that's the Carter lift pump out of a, a Cummins 6BT. And uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you know, I hope well, not enjoyed it, but I hope this video helped you out some. Um, you know, if you got any other questions about it, feel free to ask. I think I covered most of the uh, items on it. So. Anyway, I'm going to put this thing back together and get on with my night. So thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. And subscribe if you're so inclined. Thanks, guys. KZ Guy 2 over out.